Hey everyone, my name is Asha Sayed and welcome back to the channel. Today we're discussing about university, more specifically engineering at universities here in Canada and primarily in Ontario. Today we have a special guest with us, Mr. Hirain Yu, who is a first year engineering student at McMaster University, uh, taking part in the Engineering One program, program that they have. He just completed his first semester online and it's a pleasure having him today to discuss a few questions to help you in terms of deciding what things, what program is best for you and what university to choose. So Mr. Harry, thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. So how are you doing today? Um, pretty well, pretty well. You know? Really? Uh, it's kind of slow because of COVID, but you know, trying to do some more productive things. That's good. That's yeah. good. Okay. That's awesome. Your hair's looking nice. Thanks man, yours too. I'm joking, it's not. Anyway, so uh, today is the program is structured around three different categories. First of all, we're going to be discussing about Hirain's personal background, uh, what academics, uh, what academic uh, grades he had, and what made him choose engineering. Then we will move on to discuss the program more specifically, talking about how long it is, is there a general first year, admission grades, admission averages, and courses that are required. And then we will move on to part three, discussing the university environment at McMaster University, such as how helpful people are, how are the professors, and how has COVID-19 affected the whole thing? So with that being said, I think we can start off with the first part. Of course. Let's so, go. Mr. Harry, um, what, I could, what I could have background did you come from? And what were your admission grades? So, I've always been a math science type of guy, you know, I've always been part of contests, you know, all, all the courses I take are basically based off math and science. Okay. And um, my admission average, you know, I really don't share this information with like anybody, but exclusive to I'm Usher sure. Science YouTube channel, please Click that subscribe button and you know notification bell, all that I, stuff. I didn't pay him to say any of that, guys. He did, twenty bucks. But okay, yeah. <laughs> I was just supposed to be low key, bro. But okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Uh, yeah. So your so your admission grades. So my admission average going into university was a ninety four point two, and I maintained that basically throughout high school, basically. Wow. So, so yeah. you're saying from grade nine to 12, you had a 94 or like- um, About there, about there. Yeah. A mid 90 average. Yeah, we also, we used to have friendly competitions yes. back in high school, you know. So for anyone wondering, her and Karina and I go back to like uh, grade 10, grade 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. So we would always compete. I would usually win because I like, I was That's completely guy. false. I don't know what he's talking <laughs> about. But, yeah, yeah. No, I, I wasn't as close as Karina. No, 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 no. He, he's also a kind of smart guy. Kind of sometimes smart. dumb, yeah. but like, yes. Yeah. But anyway, so that's awesome. So what type of courses did you take in grade 12? Grade 12, you know, I've always taken, as I said before, math science courses. Yeah. So, you know, I took um, so like physics. kind of a flex right now, but AP Advanced Placement. My bad, my bad. That's my like... bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you took uh, AP Math and Calculus. Yeah, I took Wait, um, so just a question off of that. Does that change how your admission averages uh, like considered for universities? Like, did they look at that differently? Uh, no, you know, I literally... Uh, contact someone about this and he was like, nope. So, so it doesn't matter if you take it or right? Yeah, basically I went through all that struggle to get for a no lower reason. grade. Yeah, you're sure. Well, not for no reason, but like, I got a lower grade. No, for so. no reason. Yeah, okay, basically. thanks, Usher. Anyway, so, so what other courses? So you took AP Math, Physics and Resuming, Chemistry, Physics, all those Chemistry, all those, you know, base courses, okay. English, obviously. So, so yeah. coming from such a high average and choosing so much, so, and such, choosing a variety of these courses, right? Like you even took Bio. So like you had options to choose practically anything like the medical field. I'm not saying that because you're Asian, but like you kind of are saying that. Kind of, Asian, yeah. So like, you okay, so you had the chance of choosing medical, engineering, becoming a lawyer. But like, so what made you choose <laughs> the three typical brown and Asian uh, career choices: engineer, lawyer, and medicine? So what made you choose engineering? I mean, if I didn't choose one of the big three, you know, I would never be married. Oh. And like, I'll never have a family. So oh. these are the only options in life I'll ever... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> but like, no, honestly, it's just something that I enjoy. You know, I enjoy math, physics, calculus and stuff like that, you know. So yeah, I just chose engineering because it fits my interests and my strengths. Awesome, thank you. And I, I think we can move on to the second part of the program, talking more about program specific questions. So can you tell us the exact program you're in? The exact programming I'm in is called Engineering One Co-op at McMaster University. All right, and I'm gonna hit you with some quick fire questions about your program so the audience gets to know it better. So are you, are you ready? Let's go for it. Let's go. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah. All right, so first question. How long is the program? Four years. Is there an uh, option to add on to that? Yes. But how long? Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> by if you choose management or society, you know, they'll add on an extra year to your Awesome, degree. okay. So is there a general first year for all engineering majors? Yes. Okay. Does it have an option to do co-ops? Yes. Um, how much of a percentage do you need to be considered? 
87 percent that was from 2020 right 2019 when 19. I applied. awesome mm -hmm. okay so and do you think it's like it's going up or lower? Uh, because of COVID, I think it really depends on the skill set of the group, but I think it's going to be lower. So you're saying like, uh, like having a high 80 to low 90 is like a good... Yeah, good so thing. aim for a high 80, low 90 to be competitive in the program. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> what are the prerequisites in your end courses that are included in your average calculation for grade 12? So there are four actually. It's calculus, chemistry, physics, and English. Awesome, okay. So do you graduate with the Bachelor of Applied Science or Bachelor of Engineering and is there any difference? So at McMaster you, you graduate with a Bachelor of Engineering. Okay, yeah. and for anyone wondering there's actually no difference between the two, it's just like a type of formality that universities use. For example, UFT and I believe also Waterloo would give you a Bachelor of Applied Science whereas McMaster gives Bachelor of Engineering. But at the end of the day there's no difference. Awesome, so how are you finding the program yourself and what makes it different from other university engineering programs in Ontario? Oh man, dude, where do I start, dude? It's so, engineering is very, very, very stressful, you know, very fast paced. It really tests your time management and how your work ethic. So yeah, it's a very intense program. All right, so what's like one tip you, you'd give to yourself if you were to start again, like the semester again, right? If I were to start the semester again, 100% would be to, you know, Right in the beginning, uh, prepare well, like time manage really well because, you know, uh, especially during COVID, you know, because you have to also balance some family responsibilities for me personally and, and everything. So it's really important to manage your time well, to manage all five or six courses that you have. And yeah, that's what I will, that's what I would do better. Cool. And just about, about the admission. So did you just apply it off of the Ontario University Application Center or was it like a supplementary application in, a, in addition to applying? Um, this takes me back to OU Act days. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a supplementary application for McMaster Engineering. You know, you had to include all your co like your extra curriculars, your clubs. All that stuff and it was also an uh, interview you had to do okay so yeah so that can was you just quickly talk about the interview like what, like what was it with the questions the interview, you know you just be yourself you know they ask they'll ask you very very generic questions uh, the purpose of the interview is just to get to know you you know it's nothing like it's not like a job interview or anything they just ask you questions to see how what's your how's your problem solving skills or like how is your interpersonal skills so yeah just be yourself, be confident, and you'll succeed, hopefully. Yeah. Awesome. And I think for anyone wondering, like a few questions were like, um, how do you cope with extra characters at school and your academics? So just like very generic questions. And the aim is just to see how you are personally and how you think about things. So just be yourself and give it the best you've got and stay calm and confident. I'm sure you can get that from her. Anyway, so moving on to the third part of the program, discussing the university environment and opportunity. So, Hey, how is the general student learning environment? How helpful are people? Is it easy to make friends? How are the professors? Yeah, so unlike UFT, you know, McMaster's is very, you know, enlightening and not depressing. Sure, okay. I'm kidding, bro. UFT is also a great university. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, so McMaster, uh, the community is very inclusive. It's very helpful. You know, everyone wants everyone to succeed. And as you can see here, you know, everyone's in the background. Everyone's smiling. Everyone's having a good time, hopefully. I think, okay, you yeah. know. But generally, it's a very, you know, yeah, as I said before, everyone wants everyone else to succeed. You know, personally, I'm part of like a bunch of WhatsApp group chats that wow. the purpose of all of them is it's just, you know, if you have questions, you can ask them and then people will help you. So it's a very helpful. I've heard this thing that like people try cheating or like making like others like lose marks on purpose, like giving fake notes and stuff like that. Like, does that happen at McMaster? Like oh, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. You know, as I said before, everyone wants everyone to succeed. There's nothing like, you know, uh, purposely making someone fail or like you know stealing someone's notes or anything no everyone just yeah yeah it's a very inclusive community awesome and i i think that that's the thing with all engineering universities that I'm, I'm not sure if you can agree but like i feel like with all engineering programs everyone's trying to help each other out because we're all trying to get this get through this yeah. together mm -hmm. so Harry, what are some cool opportunities that only make master engineering students are entitled to you can talk about co-op and extra characters and so on so a very unique course that mcmaster offers in his engineering program is basically it's called integrated design so all it is is a course that helps you apply the skills that you've learned throughout engineering so for example you know you apply programming towards designing a system that will have to do a practical application like in the medical field or like in the um, 
yeah, in the medical field or like in any, any other field, you know, you have to use graphic design skills to design a product that is, is used in the real world. So it really helps you apply the skills that you've learned throughout the How about your co-op opportunities? Co-op opportunities, yeah. Um, they, there's a lot of very supportive staff, you know, programs, services there that really help you get that first co-op, you know, get that first job interview nailed down. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the... Um, yeah, the staff is very helpful, you know, um, there's an entire course actually about the co-op where they just help you prepare for job wow. interviews, resumes, cover letters, everything. Wow, so that, that, that's yeah. awesome, yeah. Anyways, the last question would be, um, how has COVID-19 affected the learning environment? How has it changed it? Has it made it more difficult, easier, in your opinion? Um, COVID-19 definitely uh, really made the learning experience uh, more difficult because you know, as I said before, a big aspect of engineering is having that very inclusive community. But with COVID-19, you know, all with everyone stuck in their own homes, it's very difficult to connect with everyone online, with, like over a Zoom meeting or a group chat and everything. So yeah, it definitely made that as aspect harder. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, and I think uh, the last question would be, um, what tip would you give to high school students applying right now to university and more, more specifically engineering? Um, some tips I would give. Um, if you still can, join extracurriculars because they really help you apply, have a practical application of whatever you learn throughout high school or engineering. And uh, yeah, just be confident in yourself, be yourself, you know, don't try to portray yourself as someone who you're not, especially during the interviews that they give out. And yeah, don't worry, you'll succeed and I wish you the best. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing and thank you so much for being with, here with us today, Trading. It was a pleasure having you and I'm sure everyone benefited from having you. If any of you have any further questions, please uh, feel free to check out Hurain's Instagram and LinkedIn and you can message him through there, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions related to admission, about getting in and any uh, McMaster related questions. Um, with that being said, I'd like to let everyone know that we will continue or I will be trying to have more interviews with other engineering students from across the, uh, more Ontario universities. For example, like Ryerson, Waterloo, Western and so on. So stay tuned for more content coming up soon. And with that being said, thank you so much for having you. Thank you for having me. And peace out, guys. Action. Hey everyone, my name is Asha Sayed. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the faster so trash? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why the hell do you have chai, bro? I don't have. Hey, you gave no. me plain water. <laughs> like, this guy got him chai for himself, got me plain water. Sponsored by. Tetley. Canada. <laughs> Sponsored by Canada. <laughs> <laughs>